Here's the story you've all been waiting for. AJ from Maryland came out after he fell out of a tree when he was 13, fell on his back, hurt himself, soccer player all through college, went to the barber, the barber always noticed something was wrong, has terrible 10 out of 10 neck pain and low back pain, has brain fog, can't sleep, went to tons of chiropractors, specialized in upper cervical, took drugs, no help, found my channel, we noticed he had ankylosing spondylitis, check him out in his range of motion here, terrible, awful, took some x-rays, saw exactly what the problem was, I just <laughs> lost my potato. Booyah! I'm broken. Yeah, my name is AJ. And then your uh, age? My age is 37 years old. And what do you do for work? And uh, I was an occupational therapist, but now I work as IT consultant. This pain started in my late 20s, started with the lower back issues, and then I just become the entire back and neck area. My neck, I would say, 10 out of 10, my lower back, 10 out of 10. So almost professional soccer player. Yeah. Um, he does, he did everything in the soccer field. We could say that was a problem, but I'm gonna trace it back to climbing a fig tree when he was at home in yeah. Africa. Fell out of the tree and never been the same since. Yeah. Gotcha. When, when I was about 13 years old, I fell off a tree and I fell on my back. And ever since then, I noticed even when I go to the barber shop to get a haircut, they couldn't put my head in a um, symmetrical posture to get it um, a line up. Yeah, so, that's so he's noticed his whole life. Difference. His whole life he's noticed that. Yeah, uh, my back, I would say about 2011, 2012, gotcha. right after college, and I used to play club soccer, played it for a little bit, and I started noticing a lot of stiffness and aches in my back. Yeah. And that kind of affected my soccer um, career. Yeah. This next pain started somewhere around 20, 15, 17, somewhere, 17, somewhere around about, When I show you the x-rays, I'll show you what ankle spondylitis looks like. Uh, it's not the worst I've ever seen, but uh, it's going to be an issue. Now my neck is kind of like frozen. Frozen. It's hard for me to do my functional activities. Doesn't but really I have, have a lot of short attention span now. Sure, but he has brain fog for the last five years. Yes. And he has sleep problems. Tell us about your sleep problems. Um, yeah, sleep problems. I'm not able to lay in one position for too long. I toss and turn around a lot at night. So because of that, I'm kind of sleep deprived. Yeah, so tell them about three or four times a month you get so bad in the bed, what happens when you have a bad pillow? Um, every time I go to bed, I gotta make sure my pillow is comfortable in the right position. If not, I'll wake up with a frozen neck and I have to get take painkillers to help manage my day. 2012, when I started getting um, medical treatments, they put me on a lot of pain medicine and narcotics, and over time he ended up um, causing ulcers in my stomach. First accident in 20, 2003 to now I've seen at least about four to five. Four to five chiropractors, right? Yes. Uh, oh, physical therapist. Physical therapist. Mm -hmm. And again, tons of medication. You had to stop all that. I discovered you in 2017 while I was living in Texas at the time. Mm -hmm. But then I sent you a message and you told me, look for somebody who specializes in, in, in upper cervical area. So I looked for somebody and I went there, but their own treatment was just he has like a uh, tool that he just kind of shoot around your neck and then put you on a machine and just let it roll. So I did that for a couple of months, but I didn't really get the result that I was looking for. And I went to Maryland. I went to see another specialist there too. He said, <coughs> he said my situation is bad. He cannot touch me. So that's why I decided, you know what, let me come to you since you've been doing this for so long and I've been following you yeah. for so long. That's why I'm here. Yeah, please. No, keep your knees straight. How mm. far, how much pain in your back right now? My back, I would say 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Go ahead and stand up. Now go back like this, please. Gotcha. Okay. How much pain there, sir? 10. 10? Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Now, guys, I want to see this. Come closer. Come closer. Now, look at the floor, please. No, with your, just your neck. Look down. Can you look down anymore? That's it, right? Yeah, that's it. And yeah. how much pain there? I'm 10. 10. Look at the ceiling, please. That's as far as you can look up, guys. That's freaking crazy. Let's turn to the side. Now look down again. That's as far as you can look down. Look mm -hmm. at the ceiling again. That's as far as you can look up. Unbelievable, huh guys? Yeah. Okay, last one. Uh, turn to the camera again. And squat, please. You get down any further? No. How much pain in your back there, sir? 10. Gotcha. You guys ready to see a miracle? He's ready to see a miracle. Yeah, I'm ready to see a miracle. This has been going too long. Let's go, guys.
X-rays wise, uh, again, ankle and spinal line, as you can see it, uh, not the worst I've ever seen. His low back has a little worse than his neck, but it's starting to fuse together. I took a close up of it and uh, you can take a look. It's starting to grow together. I'll put video, I mean, I'll put a close up of those um, bones growing together. There's still separation there, which is good. At his age, it should be already fused together. So there is some separation there still, which I'm happy about. Um, the worst thing about him, he has the worst reverse curve I've seen in years. Mm. You know what I talk about on my x-rays all the time, right? Yeah. Yours goes completely the opposite way, so far the other way that uh, I know why you have pain. I know why you're here. Mm. Now, the only problem is making that change. And so uh, it needs to go completely the other way to yeah. get you better. That's why when you sleep on a bad pillow, it hurts so bad yeah. because it just makes it worse. Okay. Mm -hmm. Atlas is completely worn out. You can see it. Uh, but again, the AS is probably the thing that you're going to have the most trouble with trying to fix. But we got to work on the curve. The curve is everything, guys. A lot of stuff on these x-rays. 11 millimeter right imbalance, left TMJ, 15 degree scoliosis. Here you have a 7 millimeter right short leg, massive arthritis at L1, maybe from the fall, three-quarter atlas wear, AS arthritis, and neck reversal, heavy, ankylosing spondylitis, and constipation. Boom, I got it all out. This is me turning them all the way, guys. I can't turn them anymore. Okay, his neck goes so much the other way. Just relax here. How bad was that, sir? It hurts. It hurts, right? Yeah. Yeah. That was me pushing as hard as I freaking could. I'm having trouble with him because I can't rotate his neck enough for me to get behind it. So I may have to change how I do things with him in the future. But right now, we're going to do this. This can keep it consistent and see how we can do with this right now. Okay? Did I hear any cracks? No, but did I make some movement? So let's see, okay. And he did not like it at all. Hey guys, lifting AJ up, helping like I always do, or reminding him not to twist and turn or he will undo my work. Uh, he has a little different take on how the other chiropractors worked and let's listen in. Compare that to all the other treatments you ever had. How painful is that compared to everything else? Most mm -hmm. painful everything you ever had? Yeah, because those ones didn't do any manipulation. Not at all? No. My my neck muscle feel a little, a little relaxed. Interesting, right? Just a little bit. I know, but strange, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. How can I cause so much pain, but yet your body's more relaxed? Sending AJ down the hall to recalibrate. I'm excited to find out what happens. Let's listen in. Now hear the, the ringing. Ringing a little bit? Yeah. I mean... I'm curious about your walk. Your I, walk... I, I noticed that I'm not leaning towards the left. Interesting, right? As I was. And it seems like my pelvic is not tilt as much. Interesting, right? And... Stand right I here. I also the... feel like my hamstring feel loose. Crazy, right? I didn't feel a deep um, adjustment because it feels so tight. It's like my neck couldn't even move. But for some reason, I just feel like my my neck, my head is not as heavy for my neck, and I feel like my shoulder loosen up a little bit, especially up on this area. Uh, my hamstring usually when I walk, I think. My hamstring try to do most of the walking, and I just it feels a little light, and yeah. I feel like you know my hip is not tucked in too much, and I feel a little, I feel a little upright, you know. You feel a tiny bit taller too, don't yeah, you? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Your face. <laughs> I mean, it, it just. He has the face of everybody who does my class. It's like. It's just it's just surprising that I didn't feel it as much because it's so tight. It's just the pain that I felt. But yet, I mean, I but don't there's know. some results. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, that was a 10 out of 10 a minute ago. What's it now? Uh, what's the Could be still 10. Inside. Huh? Yeah, I'll, I'll say maybe a 9 out of a 10. A 9, so not much yeah. difference. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Back like this, sir. How's the back? Still a 10 out of 10? Um, I'll say a 9. 9? Yeah, okay. a little bit. Now let's take a look at the neck. Look down the floor. How about that? How much this is still? Oh, nine? Still, yeah. Look at the ceiling, please. How about that? Still nine? Ten? Yeah, nine, ten. Okay, let's check out the side. I want to do the side because I love this one. Look at the floor, please. I don't see much difference, guys. Mm -hmm. Look at the ceiling. Still really freaking tight. Okay? Yeah. And last one, squat, please. 
10 out of 10, you're back? 9 out of 10, what? I would say 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. So all 5% better. Yes. I feel like it was a lot of pain. You know, I didn't, I was, I was expecting to feel it deep into the muscles, but it seems like the muscles are so rigid, you're still not able to get in there. But the first side was a lot more tougher than the second side I felt yeah, yeah. a little bit more. Yeah, I had trouble turning his neck. That definitely, I had trouble turning his neck. I couldn't get a hold of the right side. We're gonna have to freaking change some things here to get things to work. Um, but uh, I like that we were able to get something. And the most important thing is he was able to take the pain of the adjustment, which was pretty great. And mm -hmm. I thought he was gonna uh, cry out a lot more. Believe me, I know it hurts, but uh, at least we're able to make some progress with the work we got. And that is good news to me. Mm -hmm. Okay, so anything else? Um, I just look forward to um make an improvement and get back to a pain-free life. Me too. I love it. Say goodbye, Abdu. Uh, bye, everyone. I just neck from the side. So I thought about this yesterday because I can't rotate him on his back. He's stuck. So we're going to put him from the side right now. I'm just adjusting from the back. So, okay. Have your head here. And he'll say, this is not fun because it's so new, but we're going to keep this a good, good. And really what I'm trying to do is create the curve in his neck. And the other way I couldn't do it. And so I thought about doing it in the chair, but he is so freaking tight. We're going to do it this way. Oh, you got that one. You got it. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. What do you think of that bad boy? Oh, yeah. I Something felt happened, it. Something happened, huh? I felt it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's oh. a new adjustment, guys. First time. Oh, I felt it. Oh, that was deep. Oh. And this is the hard side. I could have maybe managed that adjustment from the other side, but this one's the hard, hard side. So I can't hardly turn this one at all. Ah. Wow. Ah. Woo. Is that clap of happiness or pain? Oh, pain, pain. Yeah, 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 yeah. We did something. Ben, you got you got it a little bit though. Yep, I did. Yeah. Oh. Oh. My goodness. Mm. I'm gonna push down on his shoulders. He's gonna hate the hell out of this. But we're gonna teach ah. his body ah. to relax. Yep. Oh. We're gonna adjust the chair. Um, I have no idea if this is gonna work, guys. Uh, his neck is so tight, but I've been wanting to do this from the beginning. We'll see. So just lean your head to the right here, please, a little bit. Okay, relax. Relax. There we go. I have to use my thumb on this one. I think that'll be better. Okay. Ah! Woo! 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 Wow! Woo! 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 Would you like that one more or less than that down there or the same? Uh, I don't know. It wasn't as painful though, but it, just, it was just scary because it's so <laughs> loud. I'm going to get behind it here. Gotcha. Let this go here. Ah! Ah! Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Wow. Ooh. Ooh. I think it's better because you're not clapping. Usually you clap. Yeah, I mean like... Uh, I don't know, like, I don't feel it. It's not like a sharp pain, like, yeah, over yeah, there. Yeah, 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 but, yeah, like, yeah. I just feel bigger things moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. When you told me the first day, yeah. it didn't feel very deep. Now you feel some Yeah, stuff, like, right? like, like, I'm like, this guy's going to break the bones. <laughs> like, things are just popping, you know? Yeah. So we're going to do the uh, new special adjustment I made up for him. And uh, I'm sure he's scared. So... Uh, the chair went pretty good the other day, and uh, I want to finish Friday with this work on this reverse curve. And so, man, it's, your neck feels so much softer. Mm. Woo! So much softer. So now we're getting right up here, right at the apex of the reverse curve. So this is going to be about C3. We did this already, and we're going to do it again. And he's actually doing really good. He's relaxing really good. So we're going to bring it back here. And then... Mm. Oh, oh, man! Oh, God! Oh, 
full contact chiropractic there. <sighs> Oof. You gotta be careful coming off the table like that, because I have your hand, my your head in my hand. I know, I and just, you're rotating. I, I kind of slide off. <laughs> and what is my major uh, concern is that reverse curve. We're trying to push the curve in the right direction, and by pushing the right direction, we'll create good structure to the body so the atlas can work properly. Kind of lean your whole body forward a little bit, please. Lean your whole body. No, these th shoulders right here like this a little bit. There you go, like that. Good. He doesn't turn at all, so I got to get to a position I can actually adjust him. Let me have this hand. Good, now turn to the right. Good, 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 good. Yeah. I didn't make quite as much noise, but uh, he felt it. Yeah, 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 yeah. He fought me a little on that one. I mean, I came in here virtually 100% in pain. Um, a lot of stiffness, a lot of aches from head to toe, and in a matter of, I would say, four days, because it was just the first day was just an evaluation. In a matter of four days, I say I've gone from 100% broken to at least, I would say, 60% fixed. All right, crazy, right? Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. And I still so got another one. What is every day? He's like this. Every day he's like. Something new, or something. Yeah. you're surprising me again. Every day, I mean, the work that he does is just miraculous, and and it doesn't look like he's doing anything, but the changes is just happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we're teaching him how to walk today, and say walking is doing what? What is it? What is this new walking step? How does it make you feel? Um, walking makes me feel. Um, um, it seems like a baby again. I'm learning how to walk, and and it's. Good it's, and bad. It's good and bad. Like, I have a history of back pain, and the new walk that he taught me starts to hurt um, a little bit. Hurt a little bit, but then I see the improvement after. Yeah. Because my muscles yeah. are getting. The one thing he just, I just taught him how to sit a few minutes ago out on the couch, and he's been sitting wrong the whole time. What did you tell us after you learned how to sit? Um, like sitting before, I couldn't really sit with my hands on my knees or flex forward. But now that he taught me that sitting position, I could sit that way for a long period of time. How exciting was that to sit With, like that? I mean, it's very exciting because I have a daughter and before she wants to come and sit under me, but I couldn't really lean over and cuddle her or hug her. But before I would just put her on my lap so that she can be but now I can do that, and I feel comfortable with that yeah, way. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was a uh, every like I said, every day has been fun with this guy, and uh, I like I'm enjoying the process because I get to see through his eyes how he's changing, how excited he is because yeah. he's been in pain for so long. Yeah, and you guys don't even realize how much pain he is. In. This camera, this this video is not even going to do it justice. Yeah, it's not going to do justice. <laughs> I came in here working like a the adjustment is just that it depends on how much you're hurting and. It all depends on if you're relaxed, he's able to get in more in there. But it's just that instant second. And then after that, things just, it, it's not a pain that follows you all the way home. Yeah, because everybody, everybody sees how much pain they are. Yeah. Is it worth it? Oh, yeah, definitely. The improvement, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, yeah. And so we're going to do it again and um, hopefully get a better set on this one. Good. Bring your knees up here like this a lot. Right there, like, right there. Good. Perfect. Okay, just think heavy on the table. Just heavy, 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 heavy. You say what? Just stay heavy, like like this. Okay, okay. Yeah, just like this. Okay? I try to stay. Good, 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 good. That's it. Let me have this neck of yours. Good. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Man. It's after. It's after. It's after. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. It's a spasm after, guys. It's a spasm. Oh. It's as bad as <sighs> I'll have to be coming here every year for tuna. Because I don't want to go too long. Exactly. You know? Exactly. If even is a week, you know, just come in. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, that's what I was thinking. I said I would discuss that with you. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Here we go. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Mm. yeah. Wow. Oof. I felt it shift, but... It shift, I didn't hear the crack. Yeah. Okay, turn around, do it again. 
I noticed like my my look up is getting up over the so called now. <laughs> Before it was just at the middle. I mean like that's when I when I raise my head up it's just over this so -called. Tell us about your Adam's apple too. I gotta hear this. Um yeah. I haven't felt this in a long time. <laughs> and I thought I didn't have it, I just I thought I was one of those guys with no Adam's apple. But now I'm starting to feel the lump.